Hey guys, it's Vanessa for the hundredth time trying to record this. I hope this works. Anyways, I have a haul, a bunch of random stuff, so I'm just going to get into it um, right away. So the first thing we're going to talk about is drugstore stuff. Um, I picked up these Jordana liners. I picked up three of them, but I'll have two to show you and I'll explain the other ones. So um, I have these two lip liners. They're called their Easy Liners. I have it in Sugar Bronze and Honey Dip. And though there those are right there the sugar bronze yeah is the lighter one on top and honey dip is the bottom and right there are the swatches for those the lighter one being the sugar bronze really nice just neutral colors that you can wear whenever you want and I also picked up this um, Jordana liner in cool aqua which I just threw away when I was filming this um, but I don't have it to show you because it's gone bad it smells like old crayons but just in case you find the cool aqua jordana liner there you go um i also picked up this which i was raving about and it is the cover girl um queen collection lipstick in girly pink and it is a beautiful color that no matter what color you are you don't even though the queen collection is like a makeup line designed for women of color this would look good on the fairest to the darkest of skin tones it's a beautiful pink here's the swatch right there and it's just this beautiful um not mauve but it almost has like a tinge of mauve to it the pink um when you see it here but it's just this beautiful beautiful pink it's like the perfect color pink and it's like got a bit of a frosty sheen to it but not too much in my opinion and it has like a, a subtle goldness to it it's a gorgeous color and it looks good with smoky eyes with neutral looks it's just gorgeous i love it so definitely definitely recommend that that's like uh a top pick and the pigmentation is phenomenal so oh I almost forgot I also picked up this Al all may one coat dial up mascara and I'm not sure if they still make this because this was in like a 90% off sale um, and I picked it up because it was 90% off um, and I got it in the color black and I love this mascara so if they did discontinue it I'm very sad about it and the concept behind this one is one of those like day to nights so you have three different settings one two three and then you take this arrow right there and you twist it to um, the number depending the intensity that you want to go. And when you twist it, basically what it does is it um, it makes the opening either you know whiter or smaller, wiping away um, more or less of the mascara off the wand. And this is the wand, which I love. And the wand is very similar to the um, Buxom Lash that I love, where it's just like this... Um, a plastic wand and it's very like curvaceous um, it kind of dips in and then pokes back out so I think that's why I like this so much because I totally love the other mascara um, because of that and I think I like wands like this more than like um, the natural bristle ones and then because I love this so much um, I also picked up this all May one coat nourishing mascara and this one is in waterproof um, 421 black and this is a thickening mascara, and it claims to give 100% thicker lashes in appearance. Um, and it has aloe and vitamin B in it. And it was $3 on clearance, which is why I picked it up. But I haven't obviously tried it yet because I have this and a bunch more that I need to get through. So I will let you guys know my thoughts on that. So moving on um, away from the drugstore, I'll talk about my lone random fragrance uh purchase so my birthday just passed last weekend august 20th i turned 29 and um every year for my birthday i kind of go shopping and i buy myself like a bunch of stuff um but i just moved out and moved into my own apartment i have big girl bills now so i don't um or i try very hard not to go crazy buying makeup like i used to so instead of doing that i was very much more i was very much more i was much more reasonable this year and um, I actually cashed in a Groupon for this place in Chicago called the Aroma Workshop. And what it is is a, a custom perfume place. Um, so unfortunately, it's only in Chicago as far as I know this specific one. But if you're interested in the experience, which I will briefly get into right now, um, definitely look for a custom perfumer in your area because I had so much fun doing it and I want to go back and like seriously make like 500 more. It was pretty awesome. So you walk in... Um, the aroma workshop and it's just like this small store and it's like mostly a big counter and you're greeted by your perfumer and they um in front of you when you sit at the counter are like 60 or something um little vials and they're like no bigger than this 
they're about this size and then they're all filled with different scents in them so they have stickers on them like they have the name on them but the stickers are color coded so they're broken up into different groups like floral and woodsy earthy you know whatever just to kind of make your sniffing experience easier if you will so um yeah so then the perfumer kind of tells you that and she tells you to, to just take your time going through all the scents that you want to go through and then the ones that you like you just kind of pick up the vial and you just kind of set it aside um and then the ones you don't like you just leave them where they are so once you have your little army and you get like a lot of them because if you're like me you're like i like this and i like this um so you have your little army there and then the perfumist comes back and then they kind of um look at what you picked and instead of like because okay i'm sorry i'm rambling but when i first heard about this i was really nervous that i was going to make a really shitty smelling perfume because i'm like i don't know what goes together you know um so something i did personally was that i looked um up all of my favorite perfumes like my top four favorite perfumes and i put down the the main notes in those perfumes and then I made a point to like kind of put on the side any notes that came up more than once because then obviously those are my favorite so like sandalwood um amber for me came up a lot sandalwood some citrusy ones came up it was either like a uh, grapefruit or like blood orange and stuff like that so I, I made it a point to smell those specifically but even so and even doing that you never know like I also picked out like rain and I don't know if rain smells good with oranges <laughs> like you just don't know you know so instead of just going oh you like all of these dump 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 here's a custom perfume what they do is they kind of um, look at everything as a whole and then they break them up into little groups and so then they'll pair like things that go well together and then they take these little like test strips and they'll put a couple drops of the scents together mix them up and then give them to you to smell so you sniff it if it's something you like, you put it aside. If it's not, you just kind of tell her, like, mm, that, that wasn't my thing. And then from there, they just keep trying all these different combinations. So then you're there with a bunch of test strips, and then they give you more time to just kind of sniff through the strips and determine which combination you ended up liking. So then once you do that, you get to pick your bottle, and then they have a standard. This is the bottle I picked. You get a standard... Um, kind of just a standard with this nothing fancy here just a spray or they have the like ones with the little pumps on them and stuff I think they have like four options um that you can choose from so then you pick your bottle and so then they they do the scents that you picked in your bottle and then before she adds the like li alcohol liquid when it's just like the the oil perfumes she'll dip in um I think she, but it's a perfumer. It could be a male or female. They will dip in a piece of paper and have you um, sniff it one more time just in case you want to adjust things. Like, I mean, you might say like, oh, I want a little more vanilla. I want a little more lavender, whatever. Um, so then they dip. And so then once you approve it, they uh, add in all the like the cologne base. So the stuff that, you know, the alcohol -y liquid that makes it perfume. And then um, you get to name it. So then they put your little name right there. I named mine. I'm so vain, of course. Um, yeah, and then you get your own custom perfume that nobody else has, which is pretty awesome. Um, I just think it's such a cool idea. Is if you love perfume, it's a fun thing to do. Um, I could see this being really fun, like, for um, if you want to treat, like, your bridesmaids or if you want to have, like, a ladies' day with a, a couple of friends. or It's just a fun, like, activity to go do. Um, with someone so I think it's really cool or you could even like go in there and make a custom scent for like your girlfriend or your boyfriend and present it to them so I really liked the idea and I thought it was a lot of fun um what else was I going to mention about this oh they the something that they do say is that they don't like to recreate perfumes that like already exist like I can't go in and say like oh I love the Chanel um, perfume they don't make it anymore can you recreate this like so they don't they're not a fan of that I mean there's ways around that you could be sneaky and just kind of like I said take down those notes and then go in there with that intention um, but don't explicitly ask them to do that because they kind of frown upon it, and the whole point of it is making something custom um, and it's not just perfumes that they have I'm, I know I'm going on a whole mini review but I don't want to make a whole nother video and I love it um, you could do hairspray you are not hairspray but hair products like shampoos conditioners they have uh, body products they have like those big um, bath fizzes. They have lotion and bubble bath and stuff like that. So you could also just do like aromatherapies, pillow sprays, a bunch of stuff. So if you're in Chicago, definitely check out the Aroma Workshop. Um, oh, just so you guys know, my custom scent. 
mm, which I love. Um, I got one that was a mix of Halstead, which um, Halstead is a street it's on, so they, you know, it's kind of a cutesy name, but that one is kind of a mix of those scents that I like. Um, it has sandalwood in it, amber, and I think a couple of other things she had said. So it's Halstead with um, white tea and then a little bit of blood orange, if I remember correct. And it smells really good. It's very like borderline um, cologne and perfume, which is kind of how I like mine. This one's almost more cologne than perfume. Like, I think a guy could wear this, no problem. Which I don't mind. I kind of like muskier scents like that. So I really, really, really love this. And I feel like this lasts longer. I don't know if it's because it's like straight, um, you know, it's probably less diluted than if you were to, you know, buy a custom perfume. Because sometimes when I spray it even, whew, I'll feel like, see, I'll feel like oil on me. So it's like actual oils. They haven't really been super diluted. So it does last longer. Oh, and it's super strong and I love it. So yeah, <laughs> enough with the rain. Just get a custom perfume because I think I want to go make another one. It was so fun. So then right after I did that, I went to MAC specifically to buy a perfume. How funny is that, right? So if you saw my perfume collection video, um, you'll remember that I had made a mention of MAC's Turquatic, and I was so sad because it's discontinued. Um, and Michelle1218, who you guys know that I love and mention all the time, she um, mentioned um, in the comments to that video, she had told me that MAC was releasing a Turquatic collection, so they were re-releasing the uh, perfume in its own collection. So I was really stoked and I went in specifically looking for that and lucky enough they had it. Um, so here it is. I got the bigger one because normally they're a smaller. I wish I would have brought a MAC um, perfume in here. Sorry about that. But they're normally a smaller uh, container. This one is 50 milliliters. It's 1.7 fluid ounces and it was $47.50. So about $50 um, just in comparison so you can see my custom perfume they look about the same size but the thing is this one is completely full I think I don't even know how many of this is I think she had told me four ounces is what this holds um, but if you look at this one it's really only this little center pane that is filled with um, perfume like this is just all decor and this is just the cap but this is really fun. They have like a new fun. Normally it's just like black bottom and then the top is um, like a turquoise color. But this is really pretty and it looks like very aquatic and fun. Um, the smaller one I think is still black and turquoise but it has this fun um, center on it now. And they even have a rollerball which I really want because I want to be able to travel with this. But I don't like the rollerball only because you get so little product and it's $20. And then for like $7.50 more, you can get like a full smaller version of this. So I don't know if I'm going to get the rollerball, but I'm really happy to have Taquatic back in my life. So while I was at MAC that day, I also picked up um, the MAC 235 brush. Um, I had wanted a brush from this collection. This was the one, um, maybe it came out with semi-precious, but the one that had the duo fibers. Not even duo fibers, but like literally two fibers. So this is... a. Uh, synthetic side and then a natural side i really like the shape of this brush good for like eyebrow application for all over lid even for um highlight on the cheeks and down the nose and stuff like that um it's a really nice uh size brush um lulod 81 tracy had mentioned this in her video and i agree that it's like much lighter than a mac brush a mac brush normally has like a little bit of weight to it and this one feels like not a mac brush like at all but the bristle head feels like a MAC, like the bristles feel like a MAC brush. I used it already and I like it. I'm just a little disappointed that it's like made out of air. <laughs> but otherwise I really like this brush um, thus far. So then um, in another trip to MAC, I had picked up, speaking of Tracy, I'll actually talk about this. I had seen this in um, Lulat81's video um, and it is the MAC golden bronze and it's well, I don't even know what the name of this stuff is golden bronze iridescent powder loose and I had always wanted an iridescent powder from MAC they used to have like a silvery one I don't know if they still make it and I used to really want that one um and then I fell in love with the magically cool powders I just like loose powder I always feel like loose powder um no matter what the brand is it's like such a good deal you get so much product for the price you pay um and this is no different I think this is about 27 bucks and you get a ton of product you get uh 12 grams so this is a gorgeous gorgeous highlighter color um and it's just this really nice kind of um 
I don't know, it's like a sun kissy golden bronze look and it's beautiful. And the thing with this is that the darker your skin, the more beautiful this looks. If you're much lighter than me, um, this might not look good on you because it might just come out as way too gold on you. Because even on me, if I use too much, which I actually used a ton of it today. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but if you're getting any JLo, it's this product. <laughs> but if you use too much, um, it'll just come out, it's on my hand right there, you see, it'll come out really gold looking, like an eyeshadow. In fact, I've used this as an eyeshadow. But, um, you know, the light application, or if you're dark skin tone, just like, ugh, it just gives you such a nice sheen and natural sunlight. I recommend if you're going to get this, um, to lift a corner and then just cut the sticker off that protects like the holes because they're really large holes which is my only con about it and so I only have about one two three uh about five of them and just the right amount of product comes out um for me any more than this and you would have like a super mess of loose powder all over the place but I love this thank you Tracy for the push because I love it and it's been one of my favorite things to use this summer that same day that I bought that, I also picked up a little baby MAC Fix Plus because who doesn't love Fix Plus? Um, just in comparison, I'm sure you've seen it before. Here is a regular Fix Plus bottle and here's a little bitty baby. So cute. Um, worth the money because it's Fix Plus and because I love it and I want one for my purse, yes. Otherwise, no. This is like 15 14 50 or this is somewhere from like 15 to $17 and you get um 3.4 fluid ounces this is ten dollars and you get one ounce so really just pay the couple extra bucks get the couple extra ounces but i like having it for my purse and i plan to you know never back to mac it i'll just always uh refill this one up so yay so cute <laughs> it's my little baby and then lastly from mac i had ordered from the bloggers obsessions i had ordered afro bella's um all of my purple life when it was very important to me to get this first of all for many reasons number one afrabella based out of chicago you have to support where you're from shy town represent number two a woman of color beauty blogger she's more of a lifestyle blogger really but again gotta support my minority girls and natural hair hello we gotta support the community um and then lastly it's like a ridiculously gorgeous color like anything that's a bright bold lip you guys know i'm all over it and this is no exception so it's like a really purple it's much more sheer than it even swatches like not saying that it's completely sheer but it is wearable don't be afraid by this i think i'm going to do a video on all the different ways you can wear it but it's a gorgeous gorgeous kind of purple it looks good deepened it looks good lightened up it looks good on pinks it looks good over nudes it looks good over purples it's very very versatile it's a really nice color and i like the pigmentation of it because sometimes mac lip glasses um you just don't get a good bang for your buck and with this one you definitely do so if it is still available support her because she's awesome every time i meet her she's so nice that there was no way that i was not gonna buy this so yeah very happy with that purchase moving it on we'll go to nails so um ricky's you guys know i love ricky's they sent me a couple nail polishes for review and ricky's mwah, mwah, i love you guys so much you're awesome because i love these nail polishes they're from their new um line and i don't want to mess up the name of it so i'm just going to annotate it but it's got this whole like mobster mafia theme um and it's really awesome so this is the first color and this one is called guma 796 and it's this beautiful pink i'm wearing it on my nails right now it's a beautiful pink and it's got like this very subtle uh blue iridescence which actually doesn't even pick up that strong on my nail so it really just reads as like a super nice shiny pink so yeah that's the color of my nails and excuse they're painted horribly but whatever it's a really 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 pretty color i love this color i love hot pinks so this one is no exception and then this color, which at first I was like, oh, a gray, good. I'll have a standard gray, but it's really pretty. And this one's called Capo or Capo, C-A-P-O. And it's like a true gray. And then it has like really beautiful shimmers in it. And that's on, well, here, this will be easier. That's on my nails here. And it's a really nice gray and it has shimmers in it. Um, again, subtle on the nail, but they do pick up a lot of light and then they're very shimmery. I did this that I hate, feature nails. So I did this nail all pink with the gray and then all gray with the pink. Disgusting. Like, I hate this manicure, but I love these colors. Like, 
Don't ever, ever do this to yourself. One solid color, all five nails. That's all you need in life, like, really. But this was, like, I did this by myself. I would never pay someone to ruin me like this. Um, so, yeah, I can't wait to get, like, a real manicure and pedicure with these. Super excited. And so then, like I said, my birthday passed, and my friend um, Kelly, she got me the best gift ever, and she didn't even realize it. She got me two of the new Chanel nail polishes um, from their collection, which I love this gift because I would never get myself Chanel nail polish. As much as I love Chanel and as much as I love nail polish, I would never pay money for Chanel nail polish. I just think it's ridiculous to pay that much money for nail polish. I'm sorry, I do. Kelly, I love you for doing it though. So she got me 307 Orange Fizz, which is a beautiful creamy coral, just like a true creamy, gorgeous coral, nice standard color. And then she got me the very sought after Peridot, 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 as I say. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous color. And it's one of those like, inky um every which way you turn it it's a different color so it's got like turquoise green gold it's beautiful it's a beautiful beautiful color and it's my birthstone so that makes me happy but i was laughing because she had no clue that these were like in high demand no clue that this was my birthstone she just was like i know you like chanel <laughs> so thank you kelly because i definitely love this gift and then also a while back, I had gone to Chanel and I picked up a Rouge Allure. This is my favorite high-end lipstick um, and my favorite lipstick from Chanel. I just love the 007 packaging and I love the colors. And this one is in 32 Creased and it's a beautiful mauve and I've been obsessively wearing it. And it's totally like uh, very similar to the CoverGirl one. So it's a little deeper, but otherwise, like when I first bought I bought this one first, and then when I bought the other one, I was like, oh. <laughs> Super similar, but you look at that shine. Oh, you can't beat it. It's a gorgeous color. Slightly deeper, a little more, like, purpley mauve than um, this one. But, again, very similar and gorgeous. And I have a splurge versus steel coming up with that. So, yes, those are the things I purchased. I'm going to attempt... No, I'm not, because my video is going to cut off. I'm going to do a separate video of the lovely makeup that... Ada, Ida, got me, Cozy Rosy One. Um, she's a lovely subscriber. We talk on Twitter all the time. I love her. She's awesome. She has a YouTube channel, so subscribe. I'll put her link right here. My camera's going to cut off, so I'm going to be very quick. Love you guys. This haul will be up a little bit later in the week, uh, the Cozy Rosy One haul. And that's it. And now I'm rambling, but this is going up anyways. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.